Hey there friends and welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna White and today we'll be doing something a little bit different than your typical gameplay. We're going to be reacting to a video I hosted for Square Enix at San Diego Comic Con. They invited me this year so that I could ask attendees their favorite Final Fantasy VII memory in seven seconds or less. And we did it all to celebrate the upcoming launch of Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. Thank you so much to Square Enix for sponsoring this video so that we could watch it together. If you don't know about Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, it's a new free-to-play mobile game that is sharing the stories of Final Fantasy VII, Crisis Core, at the First Soldier, and more in a really unique way. They have like the cute little character models from the OG Final Fantasy VII, but they also have modern cutscenes. So it's just really fun. I had fun with it when I demoed it. The attendees who demoed it had a lot of fun too. I can't wait to share this video with you. So let's get to it. I should mention, I have never reacted to something I've hosted before, so it's a little bit different than what I'm used to, so I don't know if I'm gonna be like, oh, why did I say it that way? We'll see, hopefully it's fun time. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Brie and I'm in San Diego at Comic-Con. This was so much fun. I haven't been to Square a Comic Con since to learn more about Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, Square Enix's new free-to-play mobile game. I thought it would be fun to ask some Comic-Con attendees some trivia questions about Final Fantasy VII and Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis to learn more about their favorite Final Fantasy VII memories. Let's see what they have to say. Who's the main protagonist of Final Fantasy VII? Cloud. Cloud Strife. An easy Cloud one Strife. to start. Cloud Strife. Cloud Strife. Cloud. Zach? No, no, no. Cloud. Cloud. <laughs> I was say Cloud, but like it's honestly Zach. Like he's... <laughs> I'm sorry, that but... Answer. What is the name of the main antagonist of Final Fantasy VII? Sephiroth. 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 Another easy uh, Sephiroth. one. Sephiroth. My boy Sephiroth. 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 What is the name of the city where the first mission in the game takes place? Oh no. Midgar? Midgar. Midgar. Midgar? Midgar. Midgar? Midgar? It is Midgar! Yeah. What is the name of Cloud's signature weapon? Oh, the Buster Sword. Uh, Buster Sword. Yes. <laughs> Buster Sword. Yes. And Buster they had a great Buster, Buster Sword, Sword Buster on display Sword. there, too. The Buster too. Sword? It was uh, so the Buster cool. Sword? I don't know. It's right here. It's right here. Does that help? I don't know the name of it. <laughs> what is the name of the bar owned by Tifa in Final Fantasy VII? Seventh Heaven. Seventh, Seventh, Seventh Heaven? Heaven? Oh no. no this one. I don't remember. Oh, oh no. no! Seventh Heaven. <laughs> seventh Heaven. Good old Seventh Heaven. Uh Seventh Heaven? Yes! Seventh Heaven. Yes. What is the name of the enemy organization that Cloud and his allies fight against? Shinra? Shinra Corporation. Oh, is it Shin? It's yeah. Shinra! Okay. Yeah. Shinra. Shinra. Uh Shinra Corp. Yes. Shinra. Yes. Shinra? Uh, Shinra. Yes, yes, there you yes, go. Yes. What is the name of Sephiroth's theme song? Genova? No. One Winged Angel? Yes. yes. One Winged Angel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. One Winged Angel. Ah. Uh, one Winged Angel. A uh, One Winged Angel? One Winged Angel. One Winged Angel? One Winged Angel? Yes. One Winged Angel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm terrified. What is the name of the summon that appears that in almost great. all Final Fantasy games and is depicted as a large fire bird? Uh, that would be uh, Phoenix. Phoenix? Yes! Oh, it's Phoenix. <laughs> Oh, Phoenix! Firebird. Yes! Phoenix. Phoenix. Phoenix? 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 Yes! Good. All right, here's the last one. You ready for this one? Yeah, let's do it. Describe your favorite Final Fantasy VII memory in seven seconds. Go. Uh, the scene where Cloud is in the garden with Aerith in Remake, and Aerith tells him, our time together has been really memorable, and you've made me really happy. The second you I open the game, scene. before you press start, just the whole trailer leading in, you can't help but cry. I believe you were on the ladder hanging and you're no, saying that was not really the hard. Ladder line. <laughs> I think you said you were really hard to say it. You no, did it so many times. We did do it so many times. <laughs> it's finding out that the person we've been chasing this whole time was Genova and not Sephiroth. Obviously the honey bee end. <laughs> it was so much fun. It's when everyone is running off the tower for Shinra after they blew up the reactor and they fall down and Cloud wakes up inside of a church. When Cloud falls from the church to Miss Aerith. Cloud cross dressing. When Cloud looks up and sees the Shinra Tower, 
I was a fan of the game since the beginning, and just seeing that in 3D, it just blew my mind. When I first saw Eric's house in the remake, because it was so magical, like seeing all the flowers and the music and then walking in the slow motion, it was so beautiful. Playing FS7 on the PC back in like 2000, downloading the soundtracks and listening to them on road trips. Uh, meeting a bunch of people named Arif in real life. For me, it was the, the first time ever walking to Wall Market. The sound, the music was amazing. The Golden Saucer theme and breaking out of Midgar on the motorcycle, chopping cars down with a sword. It's watching my brother play and my favorite character being Red. In 7 Remake, with Tifa in the blue dress? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Sephiroth talking to Cloud at the uh, edge of creation. My favorite Final Fantasy 7 memory is watching you play your own character and see your character saying a curse word. Oh, that was so sweet. Hello, my name is Ina Leska, and as a Final oh, Fantasy cool. fanatic and collector, I just want to say that my favorite memory from Final Fantasy VII, not only is the game a 10 out of 10, but I also loved watching my brothers play Final oh, Fantasy VII. So that sweet. was probably the biggest heartwarming memory for me, is because I love my family, and I love Final Fantasy, oh. and I love watching them play. One of my favorite memories of Final Fantasy VII has to be the first time I ever saw the game. I was at a friend's house and his older brother had it on the big screen TV and it was just cloud mono a mono against this super large creature. I knew instantly that I had to have that game. Looking back at the original Final Fantasy VII, one of my favorite locations in that game is the Golden Saucer. Mm -hmm. Not just remembering the music, but the arcade, all the different levels of interactivity. It's truly something special in a game that's already so epic. My favorite memory of Final Some Fantasy VII was so Soldier. The idea that there was this group of magic-wielding super warriors who all carried, by the way, really big, cool-looking swords, and that Cloud wanted to become one of them, wanted to climb the ranks, become a hero to society. I loved that as a kid. I've been having so much fun here at Square Enix's booth. We've been asking fans their favorite Final Fantasy VII memory in seven seconds, and it's been making me think about mine, of course. My favorite moment is when Cloud meets Aerith for the very first first time and she goes are you okay Square Enix's new free-to-play mobile game Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis is available for pre-order and pre-register right now on iOS and Android so go pre-register go 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 I can't wait for you all to try it see you next time <laughs> bye that was so cool to watch back I mean it was really cool to to do, to like be there at San Diego Comic-Con and talk to all of these amazing Final Fantasy VII fans. But uh, watching it back was, was super cool as well because it just brings back the flood of like warmth and happiness and joy around honestly what what is such a such a special game, such a special franchise, such a special universe, um, amazing characters, you know? It, it's it's really, really um, a huge part of my life, obviously, but then being able to be around the fans of the whole thing, I mean, and, and just soak up their passion and their love for the game and the characters, like, it was such a great experience. Um, I really, and I feel so lucky that Square Enix invited me to go to San Diego Comic-Con and have this opportunity to host this video. Um, and it just makes me all the more excited for Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis because then we get to re-explore these stories and, and in a new way. I, I, love, I love that we're going to get the chance to do that. I can't wait to play! I hope you are excited too. As a reminder, it is a free-to-play mobile game, so it's, it's so easy um, to, uh, to download and just hop in. Just dive into that world, immerse yourself in those stories, and fall in love with those characters all over again. I, I do highly recommend it, genuinely, um, from the bit that I was able to play, and I'm so excited to play it myself. Um, that's all for today's video. I just wanted to keep it short, sweet, and simple, and um, hopefully brighten your day a little bit because it definitely brightened mine being able to see that video. The original video is on Square Enix's YouTube channel if you want to go take a look at it again. Um, I'm curious to know how you all would have done with all of those trivia questions. And keep in mind, there were some more trivia questions that didn't make it into the video uh, that were super hard. So um, I want to ask you all the question that I asked every attendee at San Diego Comic Con and none of them got it right. Are you ready for this one? And don't cheat, you can't look it up. 
Put it in the comments if you if you know the answer to this one. What is the name of Aerith's adoptive mother? Leave it in the comments if you know the answer to this one because I asked everybody at San Diego Comic Con, no one got it right and it broke my heart. So hopefully uh, some of you out there can remember it because it's, it's a tough question, but I think I believe in you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video with me. Please remember to like it if you did enjoy it, share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next video. Thank you one more time to Square Enix for sponsoring this video. It was such, such a fun time and being able to watch it back and have those memories forever is just really special. So thank you to Square Enix as always. I have so much just to thank Square Enix for, but I will leave it there. That's all everyone.